Hey guys, this is Solo 1000, and I'm back again with an, uh, I almost said Inferno Mines. This, this is Sea of Flame. Inferno Mines is a long way down the road, but the names are so similar. Not really, they just have, you know, lava. Okay, we are back with the third episode of Sea of Flame, and, um, I know it's been a while. I've been doing other stuff, like that map, There Is No Learning Curve, which I've posted two videos of already, and more is coming. Um, but... We have, I haven't posted this for a while, so I'm going to record this now and hopefully upload it soon. Well, I've already uploaded it, if you're watching it right now. So that doesn't really matter to you. But anyway, um, I decided our goal for this episode... I know I know we said last episode that we were going to get food, but there, I don't think we can actually go search for food because we don't know where it is. If I knew where food is, if I knew where food was, then I could go find it. But since I don't know where food is right now... I can't really go look for it, because I could just, like, run out of food before I get there. So instead, we're just going to go other places and hope I run into food along the way. Otherwise, there's nothing I can do. If I do die from starvation, it's not a big deal. I'm just hoping I don't. Actually, I think I'm on normal. I'm pretty sure I'm on normal difficulty. Yeah, right, because I decided to do this entire series in normal difficulty. So, food won't kill us, it'll just be really annoying, because I won't be able to sprint and stuff. There's some mushrooms right there, so I guess that kind of counts as food. But it's a really slow, slow process. And I don't want to leave this room dark all the time, because it's really easy for monsters to spawn. Okay. So, let's go, I guess. We're going to that pillar room over there. Uh, carts. I don't really need carts. Um, so, last, last time I was afraid of the ghast spawner. Because I didn't want to lose my st all my stuff and have a gas spawn in here. This time, I decided that I don't really care about the gas. Um, at the worst case scenario, I'm gonna turn that music down. Okay, the worst case scenario is if a gas spawns and I'm retreating and as I'm running across this rail, the gas blows up the rail. And that's not a big deal because I can easily repair the rail. There's so many extra rail supplies in that chest back there, so I think I'll be fine. Um, so, we still have this staircase that we made last time, which is useful. So that, oh, okay, that skeleton hit me from there. One thing I don't want to happen, though, is I, where's the, oh, hello, skeleton. The wool's over there, gas spawner is also over there. Let me turn render distance. Normal. So you can see those over there. Oh, no, that's void fog, okay. Um, so there's gas spawners over there. Um, I don't want to get shot off right now. Um, what I am going to do, as I, I have all this stuff, my main concern was running down there and just losing all that stuff down there. So what I'm going to do, instead of just rushing down there with all this stuff and possibly using it, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to make a chest and put a bunch of stuff in it. Um, so, crafting a chest. Uh, you cannot drag and click because this is 1.0. Still getting used to that. Still. Um, I also have a bed here, see if I can sleep, just so I don't have to run back here every time. Uh, oh, there's monsters, okay. Oh, and there's my food finally ran out, just there. Uh, where's the closest monster? Let's see. Alright, let's put the bed up top. Uh, and quickly too, because, you know, if I, if I want to die, this is a perfect time, because I have a bed right here, and I can just respawn where all my stuff is. So, let's try putting the bed just like... Uh, just like in here. It might not even be nighttime though. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, that's fire. Hello, fire. I'll just, you know, block that up. Come on, hurry up, sleep. Just in case I might die here. I don't think normal kills you, but I don't know much about this version. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that's at my spawn point, even if I did get damaged, ticked out of bed. Um, let's quickly put all the stuff I can in this chest. Actually, no, let's stay up here, because if I, if I die right here, my stuff will not spray everywhere. It'll just be in this little room. But if I die while I'm putting stuff in that chest, it's going to spray all over. Am I going to die? Nope. Okay, it takes you down to a half heart. Well, I think I might as well just, you know, die. Um, so let me, let me, let me, uh, bring the chest up here. Just where my bed is, because that's probably a better spot for it anyway. I then it almost fell off. Alright, bringing the chest up. I'm just gonna suicide. So, whoa! Okay, that was not what I was going for. What? What? 
why am I... Well, I better run back before I lose all that stuff. Uh, okay, 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 um... Shoot. Why didn't I respawn in the bed? Do I have to sleep in this version? I... Ah, uh, versions. Why do you do this to me? Okay, uh, find, finding, finding the place, finding the place quickly. Because I have five minutes to get back. Okay, this way, it's this way, uh, this way. Over here. Through here. All the way down. We're in a sprint, because now we have food. Why did I not respond to that bed? Is it because I got ticked out? Is that why? Because of the damage? That shouldn't have been it. But I it must have been it must be this version. You must have to actually sleep in this version. That's annoying. Okay, running back. Alright, my stuff should should still be that should still be there. Um, but some of it fell on the floor, which is really annoying. Uh so I might need to pick up some blocks and just get back up quickly, throw the sand out so I have room to pick up some blocks. Alright, my stuff is still there. Thank god. Um I don't know why I didn't respawn to that bed. Alright, that was slightly disastrous. Cool, I got blocks of inventory dropping down. Pick up as much stuff as possible before I start something starts hitting me. Did I get everything? I think I got everything. Alright, cool, going back up. Up. Alright. Well, uh, I died without meaning to from fall damage, and then I, ki I kind of didn't respawn in the bed for some reason. I'm not sure why that happened. Uh, okay, so let, let's let's clear up more area around that bed. That might be the problem, or that maybe I didn't sleep in it properly. It's not it's not nighttime anymore, so I can't. Dang. All right, let's just clear this out here. Oh, this looks really dangerous, doesn't it? Um, let's let's do it here instead, actually. Just so we have a shelter. There. Oh, my pickaxe just broke. Um, I have enough stuff to make another one. Well, this this is a huge delay. I expect you to already have the wool by now. But we'll get there eventually. Second death is always fun, especially when it's by accident when you want it to be on purpose. That makes no sense, unless you watch. Um, Alright. Taking out the fire. There's not enough slots in your inventory to do anything. Alright, placing the bed there will block this up. Do it like that so we can still kind of see outside. That'll look cool. Um, there is sand back there, so I guess we could smell some glass and put it there. But I doubt we're going to be spending that much time in this area. Oh, that's against... Ah! Moving this over again. To right there. There we go, now all the sides are available. So we shouldn't we should be able to respawn in this bed. Okay, so let's uh let's put the chest and stuff down. We'll put it down, uh uh let's let's do it let's do the chest over here. Just right here. More fire, hello. Uh we should probably light this place up because I'm taking out the fire. Okay, chest, um, so we'll store a few things that we're not going to need. Um, actually, we'll, we'll store pretty much everything, except for, like, a pickaxe. Because if we're going to rush, we don't want to lose much. Uh, I'll take torches, too, like, some torches. To try to light some things up. I don't want us losing the sign. Um, okay. So I guess we're just going to wait for night time, then. Because I'm not rushing down there. Well, I could, I could do it. All right, let's let's prepare. Let's just prepare. Cause I'm, cause it's gonna be a while till it's night time again. Let's take this down as much as I can. Actually, that's, that's oh, okay. Hello, you're just sitting there. All right, leaving, 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 leaving. Ha ha! You tried to hit me there. <laughs> oh, I'm still getting hit by the spider. Well, if I die here, I will respawn back at that other place again. Uh, let's get up to my bed again. This spider's gonna hit me as soon as I try to... Where is it? It's up there. Okay. Fall off. Come on, fall off. It's up above me now. Come on, die. 
There we go. Did get oh, it's right there. <laughs> Alright. Back up to the bed. Can I sleep yet? No. Alright, I will be back when I can sleep. So I just thought I should mention I'm still waiting for the bed to sleep, but look at this. You can't see the you can't see in there from down here because of the void fog, but if you go up here all the way to the top. Still waiting on the bed. Um, all the way up here, you can you can see that there's a chest that has wool in it. Like that that's exactly what a freezy box looks like. So that's interesting. And you can also see the glass spawners a lot more clearly. Um and there's also this other thing that's like way back there in the in that corner over there. It's definitely different. I'll have to go over there after I get this. Um there's gonna be at least two gas that spawn. I only see two gas spawners, but they're gonna spawn easily. So my goal, my goal, just to give you a quick rundown, is to just run over. Um, I probably need some blocks too, actually. Destroy the gas spawners. Um, get out. Two gases are gonna probably already be spawned, but I should be able to run in there, grab a piece of wool or f or two, run back, pillar up, and get up there into my bed. And the gas should not see me at that point. Maybe I'll be able to shoot it down with the bow I have in the chest. Alright, can I sleep yet? No, I cannot. Alright, I'll be back again. Please die, spiders. Please, please, please die. Don't, don't kill me. Don't, don't kill- oh god. Oh, jumping up. Jumping up. Haha, -ha, you can't get to me. Haha. 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 Haha, I will eat you now, though that's a bad idea. probably should have been fighting spiders. I'm now at two and a half hearts, and I have to, you know, run in there. So that's not cool. You know what? Should I, should I do it? No, I want I want to sleep in this bed first. I, I was gonna I was gonna suicide just to get my hearts back, which I probably will do, but not until I sleep in this bed. Come on, bed. I'm just gonna keep looking on it until it lets me sleep. Actually. You know what probably is that when we respawn, it's the ceiling. Let me take that out. Now I should be able to respawn. And can I sleep? No, I cannot. <laughs> yes, finally it let me sle sleep. It, it let me sleep. So we are respawned. Oh, there's something on my screen. Okay, it's off. Alright. Um, so now we're going to suicide. Second death. Actually, this will be third death in the entire map. I, I'm, I'm going to try to avoid deaths for the most part, but I don't want to have to run in there with food. So, this is a suicide. It doesn't, it'll come, it will be my death counter, but it won't really actually count technically. Because it's on purpose. Yes, okay, I did actually respawn in the bed. Alright, so there's my third death. It was the on purpose death. I need some blocks, probably more than that. Not that much though that I'll be sad about losing it. Torches, same thing. Not that much that we said about losing them. Um, I'll just put those in the regular slot so they're easy to get to. Alright, I'm ready. Uh, probably, do I want a sword? Uh, just a quick sword? No, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna rush in. Alright, there's lots of mobs around me at this point. There's like spiders everywhere. Alright, you saw me spiding sp spiders earlier. Okay, I'm, here we go. I'm, re I'm ready for this. Okay, right, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now. Here we go, here we go, here we go, okay, okay, gas is about to spawn. Run, 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 there's gas, oh, there's four gas, there's four gas spawners, there's four gas spawners. Alright, wool, 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 okay, light blue wool, cool. Alright, just destroying gas spawners. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, running away, running away, I'm not gonna make this back. Gas, gas, Okay, running away, running away, running away, running away. Yes, thank you, skeleton. Yes. Oh, no, spider. No, spider. Why didn't I bring a weapon? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Just sp fall down, spider. Come on, get up the stairs. <sighs> okay. Alright, I got the wool. I got the wool. I still didn't destroy the spawners, though. Alright, we're putting that in there. Do I want to attempt to destroy the spawners? It'd be a lot more difficult now that there's ghasts. I could do a suicide run. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the same thing we just did. We have the wool now, so we don't need to go for that, but instead we're gonna go for the gas spawners, because I really don't like them there. Yeah, there's now gas- okay, that's gonna blow some stuff up. Oh man, did you see that? Running, running away, now I'm about to die. I'll destroy as many as I can before I die here. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Why, why wouldn't it... <sighs> Alright. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this area. It's gonna be really difficult coming through here with the ghasts. You know, okay, we're gonna try to kill the ghasts. I'm so afraid that if they shoot me off, I'm gonna lose all this. Okay, I'm gonna take these arrows, so if I get shot off, I won't lose all of them. We're gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to kill the ghasts. Alright, we're gonna run out here so they don't destroy our bunker. Where, where is it? Just try to shoot at me. There's one. Haha, -ha, yes. It's dead. Yes! Alright, that's two down. I think there's more. Yep, there's another one. Come on. Alright, I'm easily able to hit their things back. As long as they won't die. And I'm about to run out of arrows. Yes, killed it! Okay, and the fireball disappeared. Okay, there's one more, I think. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, I don't see it, it's hiding. Alright, you know what? We're in an attempt to get everything back. Um, there's one ghast in here, and I'll, I'll definitely explore this place later. But my pickaxe wasn't destroying those spawners for some reason. I'm not sure why. I was on that spawner for a long time, and it didn't happen. So, um... Alright, we need another pickaxe. Uh, crafting table. It's in here. Let's put that up there. Why not? I'm about to break that chest anyway. Alright. Cool. Here's all that. And we're gonna just get out of here. If I get hit by what we're running across, I'll be so disappointed. But I don't think I will. Alright, organizing everything. We got the light blue wool. And what else do I have? What do I usually have in that slot? I have this. And there. And, um... Sign. That's right. The sign's there. That's there. Okay, cool. Let's go. Is he showing himself yet? Alright, if he doesn't show himself, then I'm just gonna leave. Alright, let's just go. Oh, he's firing at me. Did he blow up the track? He didn't blow up the track. Alright, fine. Where the heck is he? He must be like in there somewhere, because he has a clear line of shot from me between those pillars. Alright, we're leaving. So there's a gas in that room now. Hopefully I'll be able to kill it soon. I'm probably not going to go back there for a while. The only thing that's back there now is the nether and that one corner of the room. Alright. We are about to get another piece of wool for the monument. Alright, so three pieces in three episodes. Not bad. Where's the light blue? We gotta get the music playing again. Of course, always have music playing when you put in a wool. It's a required thing. Everyone likes cat. Light blue wool, right here. Three, two, one. Three blocks of the monument completed. Alright. Oh, spinning. It's starting to look pretty good. Pretty random blocks right now. Just going all over the place. It, they're supposed to go in order of difficulty, I think. At least for the later maps, I know you're supposed to get like them in order. But of course, this, this is an uh, intersection map. This is a open world map. In the intersection maps, they go in order. Um, but I'm not, I've, I've never really played the open world maps except for this one. So I'm not exactly sure where everything goes. Alright, well, alright, we have about 10 minutes left and we still seriously need food. So, and we need to remedy this somehow. Um, we got more trees. I don't really need anything from there though. Let's see, what's in here? Can't really do anything in here right now. Uh, we still- oh, our spawn point. Our spawn point is still at the back of that bed. Um, 
Well, that's a problem. Alright, let's try to not die, because then we'll have to run into the gas again. I'll put a bed in here. I probably should have done it a long time ago. But I can't sleep in it again, and we're not going to wait another 10 minutes for the night. Did it once this episode, not do it again. Alright, so instead, we are going to go up on the surface, because where we spawned, it wasn't just going underground here. That wasn't the only place. Music's still playing. Um, whoa. Okay, spinning. Um, there was actually another area that I saw off to the side. You have to bridge to it. So I have blocks, but I've never been there in this map. Pretty much every single, we've gone to pretty much every single place I've been. Um, actually, yeah, I think we've gone to every single place I've been so far. We've gotten everything that I did when I played this map before, so I don't know anything now. Um, so it's exploration time. Let's see. Oh, except except for that one dungeon along the rail, I got the wool in there, but that we have we haven't done that yet. But that'll be in the very near future. Okay. Um, would it be easier to just go out that way? Um, let's see. Yeah, I think it is, actually. I already cleared the way out here. Cool. Alright, let's not fall in lava again. We already had two deaths this episode. Rather not get a third. Okay, so the areas I'm talking about, like that one right there. You see that right there? Isn't that in- oh, hello. Isn't that interesting? Whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it fa me falling is very interesting, isn't it? Uh, whoa, okay. Lots of, lots, lots and lots of stuff happening. What the heck is in here? Is this- oh, okay, I know where this is. It's right here. Yeah, okay, um. Right, I have to go all the way back around here again. Um, you know what? I'll be back when I'm, like, at the place that I want to go to. Is that Clayway over there? Nope. Not this time. I'm pretty sure that's a giant evil fortress. Giant evil death fortress. You have to include the death. Which will be much more entertaining than dumb clay. I agree. Um, so there, there's a giant evil death fortress over there. Uh, I've never been there. Never even come to this side of the... This side of the spawn. And there's a volcano right here, which is interesting. There's probably something up here. Um, yeah, I see a bridge over there to the Death Fortress. So that'll happen eventually. Uh, let's see what's on this volcano, and not die in lava. I can easily lag myself in the lava with this. Uh, let's turn my render distance to decrease the chance of that happening. So I can run a lot more smoothly. Okay, whoa! It is suddenly... Nighttime? Is that what this is? Or more void fog? It can't be void fog all the way up here. Is it nighttime? Oh, it's nighttime all of a sudden. What? It was not nighttime a second ago. I'm so confused now. Okay. Well, going back to the bed then. Uh, no, no, no. We got this. There's a lot of light over here in the form of lava. We can see if we see anything. Ah, yes, there's a brick over there. Let's see what's over there. If I die now, though, I could lose all this stuff I have to the lava. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. There could be like bla there could be like spawners over here, like I don't know, blaze spawners. Blaze spawners don't care about light, and that's why I'm afraid of them being here. Don't don't walk into lava. It's not a good idea, no matter if you want to do it or not. Whoa, too much spinning. Okay, I think that's the pig fortress over there, actually. That's the yeah, that's the rail cart for the that was just on for the pig fortress. Area Killa you a prime. Alright, so this is a this is a different area. Whoa, okay. So this is an actual entire thing. Oh okay. gate okay, that was hunger. Ha 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 hunger. Nice. Yep, never been in here before. This is interesting. Don't want to explore too far. I've already gotten a wool this episode. Alright, there's the evil death fortress path. And over here is a different path. Oh, it goes down. It's going down. Okay, I can't go down there yet. Ah, so many things that I have to wait for the future to do. Mainly because I'm about to be on a half heart. And I could easily lose all this stuff. Alright. I'm going to keep recording here, just in case I die, but uh, I'm probably going to cut it out in editing. So, 
uh, you you might it, it'll either right now it's about to skip to either my death or me getting back to the bed. Wish me luck. Yours, yours. Okay. What the heck? It was my death. In a really, really, really bad spot. Where the heck did that skeleton come from? So much of my stuff just fell into the lava. If that sign is gone, I swear to god. I'm gonna make skeletons my enemy. If that sign is gone, skeletons are gonna be my enemy for the rest of the map. I have to kill everyone that I see. It'll be a rule. Where the heck did that come from? He fell from the sky, he shot me once, and he dropped in the lava. I'm so sad now. I, I died like literally right here. The skeleton's gone because he died in the lava right after he shot me. Okay, the sign's still here. A lot of my stuff survived. Alright. Thank god, okay. So, what, what, now I need to f leave, actually go inside so that doesn't happen again. And then I'll figure out what I lost to the lava. Um, okay, so... Apparently, every, either I broke all my armor, or I lost every single piece of it. That's interesting. Uh, I lost my sword. That was an iron sword, so I'm sad about that. Um... But I have the sign. And I haven't really been using my sword at all this episode. Uh, what else did I lose? I lost the regeneration potion. Um, I think that's it, though. I might be missing some other minor stuff that I didn't really need. Um, I think most stuff survived, though. And I can I can easily come back from this death. Come on. Three deaths this episode after having no deaths last episode. And I got two pieces of wool last episode. Of course, they were really easy. And one of them wasn't actually wool. Actually, both of them weren't actually wool. One was a stick, and one was a block of metal, but same thing. And this episode, we got one piece of wool, and we died three times. One was on purpose. Other two were an accident, and the episode is almost over. We got like one minute to do everything, sign off and stuff. Um, I'll, I'll make another sword, but it'll be stone. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy me dying too many times. And I, I'm really glad I didn't lose that sign. But I lost a lot. Of, I lost a few other things. I spawned a gas, but I got the light blue wool, which is what you should be happy about. And I found a new area that I can explore. Still haven't resolved the food problem. I'm really hoping that'll be resolved soon, though. I'm gonna try. Um, next episode, I'm gonna go into that that fortress we found right there that I was coming back from. I'll try to I'll try to uh, get some zombie flesh maybe to take with me. So that I so that I can stay alive and not lose so much food. I'm already I'm losing food by just jumping around. I I can't jump around at the end of the videos until I get food. I just can just I only can stay in a corner and like spin rapidly. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Sea of Flame this is not Inferno Mines, it's a Sea of Flame. And I will see you in the fourth episode, which should hopefully come up soon. Also, if you haven't seen the There Is No Learning Curve episode, the There Is No Learning Curve series I've been doing with Steelgrass and Green Eleven, you should go check that out. There's two episodes up right now, and more will come up in the future. And again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, and yeah, I will see you in a certain amount of time. Goodbye.